so we have been hearing a lot of unsourced sources on social media, especially Twitter, talking about the cell has been finalized and that Josh Harris and company have purchased the Washington Commanders for $6 billion and that even one reported out that they were in the same restaurant as Harris. Harris group, of course, was in a private room somewhere and he could overhear screams of of um, cheers and all of this stuff and he was going to try to get pictures and all this stuff and okay right now it's just basically a race to see who can get scooped who can who can have the scoop first right um but i mean overall we all know that the team is getting sold number one we all know that and number two, we've all have been hearing for months now that the deal is likely to be finalized by the owners meeting. Okay, so the owners meeting or owners meetings uh, will start this weekend. Um, so I think they officially start on, on next Monday, but uh, I think around, well, I, actually I want to say the 26th, which... Um, is that on Sunday? So they will all meet, start meeting unofficially on Sunday, but I think the, the official meetings start on Monday. Having said that, it's likely that by Sunday, you're going to hear pretty much, I would say good sources at that point of what's going to happen. Um, Certainly, you know, we've we've heard about Dan Snyder and Tan, Tanya Snyder cleaning out everything from the headquarters and, and leaving no traces behind of the Snyders. And actually, that was reported that that happened way back in December. So that's something that had been done months prior to up to this point. It's just that it's just been reported. And so folks is, is kind of made to believe that oh man this just happened so this is just another sign that the commander's cell is upon us because the doting is very hard to do um but really honestly what you look at as far as signs of a cell really comes from the structures of the contracts that they are agreeing to with the players that they're signing. Uh, when it comes to like signing bonuses, for instance, usually when it comes to structuring signing bonuses, those are those come due about, I want to say it's like 15 days or so after the ink dries. Well, in this case, they've structured it to where those signing bonuses are not coming until sometime in May. What does that tell you? Well, that tells you that Snyder is putting off all of those signing bonuses to the next owner to have to pony up. Smart on his part, devious, but it's so Dan Snyder. So that certainly gives you a hint that, yes, a sale is upon us. So... We all know this, so the question is, who is going to buy the Washington Commanders? Right now, it seems like we're down to two finalists, as we've heard for the last couple of months. Josh Harris Group and Jeff Bezos. But we have yet to hear anything about Jeff Bezos officially putting a bid in for the Washington Commanders. We've heard nothing. We've heard that he has signed a confidenti confidentiality agreement either with Snyder himself or with the NFL. And that assumption was that he was going to put in a bid for the team. Or maybe he puts in a bid for a team. For You know, people are forgetting that I believe it's Seattle Seahawks that could also be up for sale. 
And there's been some interest in the past that Jeff Bezos might be interested in the Seahawks and not the Commanders. So it could be that Bezos actually is entering into one of those agreements in order to start bidding for the Seahawks. So that might be interesting. I don't know if that burst anybody's balloon as far as wanting Jeff Bezos as the commander's owner or not, but there you go. There's always been some hint that Jeff Bezos, if he were to become an owner, would rather do the Seahawks than, you know, go the way of the home team of the Washington, uh, of Washington commander's football team, you know, at that point. So, having said that, does that leave us with Josh Harris? It seems so. And the other bit of news with this is the fact that MJ entered into the realm of the group for Josh Harris. And no, I'm not talking about Michael Jordan because there was news reported that Michael Jordan wanted to sell the Charlotte Hornets. No, I'm talking about Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson wants to be a part of this group. Magic Johnson, uh, I believe, has, um, if I'm not mistaken, he has owned uh, bits and pieces of sports teams. So, Magic Johnson enters... Uh, this group, this group becomes a little bit richer, and that's more than enough to push things over the top for Snyder to be okay with selling this to Josh Harris and not his arch enemy, Jeff Bezos. And of course, he's going to stick it to either one anyway, right? I'm still shocked that he didn't decide to sign. Lamar Jackson to this ridiculous deal and stick the owner, the next owner, with the bill. That still could possibly happen. I don't know. If it did, partly, I know some of the fans would be, you know, jumping up and down for joy to have Lamar Jackson. I'd love to have Lamar on the team, but at the same time, that would be such a, a cruel move by Dan Snyder as he parts to do that to the next owner because the next owner is going to have a lot to fix. It's not going to be an instant winner, folks. He's got a lot to fix. There's a lot. There's so many years of stink that Dan Snyder has put on this franchise that the next owner is going to have to come in and completely undo. But, you know, one thing's for sure, um, if you ever watched wrestling, <laughs> you know you have the baby faces who are the good wrestlers, the good guys, and you have the heels who are the bad guys. Certainly Dan Snyder's been the heel all these years. And the next owner coming in is going to be the baby face. Regardless, he is going to be the crowd favorite. He is going to be the savior of the franchise. And people are going to love him. And he's going to be He's going to probably have such a long, long leash. You know, people are going to be so forgiving of him because of what we have went through for the past 20 plus years with Dan Snyder that they're willing to do, to be patient probably with, with the new owner and to ride with him until things get fixed. At least that's my presumption here um, because I think we're all under the, <laughs> excuse me, we're all under the assumption that it can't be any worse than what it was Dan Snyder. And I think most of us would probably agree with that. So, folks, just sit back and wait. As I'm recording this video, it is Tuesday, March the 21st. So, we basically have about five days Four or, five, four or five days until we know for sure who the next owner of the Washington Commanders will be. That, I'm pretty solid certain 
And yes, it probably will be Josh Harris and his group who buys the team. Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves at all as far as these reports out there. Until you start hearing it from guys like John Kim, you know, J.P. Finley, um, you know, some of the the more trusted Washington Beat reporters and then some of the more trusted sports reporters, uh, you know, names that we know of, don't believe anything else you hear. Don't even believe it from me, okay? I'm just, I'm just a simple fan when it comes down to it. Um, and I'm reporting back to you what I see, what I hear, but um, until I see it from these well-respected guys like Camera Family, um, mum's the word. Folks, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share it with others. Guess what? I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.